Welcome back to another Sports Hub. I'm Ryan Edwards, joined by Dan Zielinski. Dan, the state volleyball tournament starts on Thursday. We have four area teams that qualified, Minden, Southern Valley, Bertrand, and Elwood. What are you expecting to see this week? Well, I'm excited to see how our area teams compete at the state level. I'm interested to see, too, how Elwood does. They're a team that played a tough regular season schedule. They were in a lot of close matches. They just weren't able to finish sets off. So it should be interesting to see how they do at the state level. Not to mention, this is the first time they've qualified for state and school history. Another thing that I'm looking forward to is seeing how Minden plays Wahoo. The interesting tie there is Kayla Swanson, who used to go here to school at Minden, transferred to Wahoo last year, and she's been the key to their success. They're 32-1 and and playing really well. So it'll be a good test to see how the uh, Whippets handle that size and that length uh, from a former teammate in front of theirs. And that's not the only sports we have going on in our area this week. We also have high school football. CWCE is at South Loop on Tuesday afternoon. That should be a quality game with two quality opponents. South Loop is undefeated. They're trying to continue their undefeated season and hopefully win a state championship. Jack Rush, we've talked about him a lot, but he's a dynamic quarterback and safety for them, and it should be interesting to see if they can continue to win these games and go on to the state championship game. I'm picking South Loop in this game. I think it will be a high-scoring game, but I think the Bobcats will be able to win this game. We also have Carney High and Creighton Prep playing on Friday in the Class A semifinals for the first time for Carney since 2007. So this game will be featuring a rematch from Week 8 where Cannon Coster got hurt. Um, the one thing I'm looking forward to is to see how Carney and the Prep have adjusted since that game to see what kind of uh, things they come out with, you know, to see how they shake things up on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. It'll be interesting to see how uh, Prep can handle Miko Maisner's speed and the, and the power run game of Matt Sudi and Cannon Coster. For my pick, I'm taking Carney high in this game. I think their defense is playing well enough right now and their offensive is playing just well enough too to get them back to the uh, state finals for the first time since 2006. For more prep coverage, make sure to pick up a copy of the Carney Hub and check us out at carneyhub.com.